What's going on guys? It's James here, the owner and driver of the work truck. And what I have for y'all today is a few more of my drag racing clips from some of my first nights ever at a racetrack. Well, I say first nights. First nights being on the track, not in the stands. And I had a lot of fun. Um, in this first clip y'all are about to see, I will be racing against my buddy, Joe Suits, and his V6 2020 Charger SXT. And it, he's done a few other mods. He's got new wheels and an exhaust to it now, but he still can't beat me. So, I hope y'all enjoy that one. enjoyed that clip of me versus the v6 charger but what i have for y'all now is me versus a 5.3 chevrolet silverado 2015 body style and four-wheel drive and let me tell you that sucker has a damn good launch because it was enough Enjoyed me versus that Silverado four-wheel drive. Well, what I have for y'all now is me versus some PT Cruiser. No, was it a PT Cruiser? It's a Toyota. I don't know the names. Forgive me. <laughs> uh, it was an outside shot from somebody I knew up in the stands, and the video quality is not like my iPhone 12. Convince her to upgrade her phone. So I hope you'll enjoy this next clip. Now that we got myself versus that bright baby blue Toyota. I'm trying to think of what it is, but I can't remember. It saved my life. Anyways, up next is me versus a second generation Ford SVT Lightning. And they are a supercharged 5.4 liter single overhead cam V8, two valves per cylinder, with a four speed automatic transmission, a four on 100, which is actually from the heavy duty trucks of Ford. But they decided to put it in a high performance muscle truck, and well, the Lightning has a solid transmission to put power to the rear wheels. I hope y'all enjoy the race. is out of the way i'm sorry i do not have any more videos of me and some more racing that i have done but uh, i'm pretty sure i didn't say it in the beginning so the mods that i've done at this truck are very very few very limited uh at the time i had those videos recorded yeah it was literally just an exhaust and at one point i got a bed cover for the truck and I think that was on for the Lightning and the FJ. Was it the FJ? Toyota FJ? It sounds right. It sounds wrong. And since then, I've also lowered my truck because aerodynamics. Why not? It's a lowered long bedded pickup now. Also, the thing with these third generation Coyotes, mostly in the F 150s. They're flex fuel, so I could run E85 or regular 87. Every night I raced, I always had a tank of E85, just for that extra little oomph. With the factory tune, 
you're not really getting that much more horsepower versus regular 87 but it's enough to give you an edge stock versus stock stock motor at least I really all I had done was the fuel and the exhaust there's no tune to make it go faster pushing about 327 horses to the rear wheel maybe over 330 pound feet of torque too for now but I'm probably going to get this thing tuned eventually and later or not of course I'm going to add even more power and one of the things I bought to add more power is a turbo charger because why not it also got a Mustang intake manifold for it it's already been ported it's got the map hole sensor drilled all that work is done and I'm just waiting and working and saving up that way I can have me a fun little work truck so stay tuned because I will have more videos uploaded whether they be me racing, vlogs from uh, car meets or car shows that I'd be going to over the weekends, I don't know. Just expect the unexpected from me. <laughs>